The first thing we need to do is make sure that Nuke is set up for stereo. So if we bring up the setting properties and go to the views tab, down at the bottom here you'll see set up for stereo. Click that and you get left and right and left and right up here. Now I'll go ahead and add my footage by adding a read node. Take a peek at it here. I'll go ahead and down res 4 to speed things up a bit. Roll through the footage here. You can see it's pretty straightforward, pretty typical fire element. Let's just see if we can add some depth to it. Now I'm going to add a noise node. Bring that up there. View it. And I'm going to attempt to get it to scale and move just a little bit like the fire. It's pretty loose. It doesn't have to be perfect. It gets at about the right scale. Then we'll make it seethe like the fire. We'll go ahead and put a keyframe on our Z value here. Go to the last frame. Put that in there. Now you'll see it's kind of moving. Now we need to give it some upward motion. So I'll go ahead and make a keyframe for the Y there. Go to the last frame. Type in a fairly large value, 2000 on that. But what this does is give us motion that feels roughly like the fire. Not perfect, but it's pretty loose, pretty forgiving. And depending on your fire element, your settings may vary, of course. Now I'm going to add a copy node and connect the A to the noise and the B to the fire. And what this is going to do is take the noise and copy it to this. So if we take this and go RGB alpha from the noise to forward U of the fire. Now if we view the copy here and I go up and select forward, you'll see that the alpha channel of the noise has been copied into the forward U of the fire. Now the magic happens. We're going to go through and do a little rearranging here. Disconnect that there. And we're going to add an eye distort right there. And this is really what makes the whole thing work. You're going through here channels that you want is going to be all is fine. UV channel is going to be forward. Go ahead and tick off V there, we don't need it, and make sure that your UV offset is set to zero. Now if we view that, I think we already are, and we scale up our U, you can see that there's a shift going on in the fire. And what this corresponds to is the lighter areas of the image of the noise are actually being pushed or pushing the pixels of the fire to the left based on our scale here. Now all we need to do is add a join views. I'll go ahead and connect the right to my fire, my left to the eye distort, and if you look here, if we scale up our UV a little bit and we click back and forth between the two eyes, you'll see that there's a little bit of a shift in there. And believe it or not, this is now a stereo element, albeit a bit crude, uh, but it is true. Now if we add an anaglyph node after this and you put on your handy dandy 3D glasses, you'll see that where we were shifting back the pixels, mainly in these areas here, it's actually away from the screen. It's actually been pushed in into space in stereo and it's got some depth to it. I'll go ahead and close our properties and play through the footage. You can see you've got a roughly stereoscopic fire element super simple and it's certainly no substitute for shooting proper stereo elements, 
but in a pinch and for, to be able to use your entire library, it works a treat. I'm Tom Williamson. Thanks for watching.